All right, so for, uh, for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Brian Kinger. And I'm Bailey Dick. And uh, we chose to do our presentation that you guys will be, uh, will, will, will be presenting to you on uh, Plato's four virtues and how they, they relate to Batman. So the first virtue that we're going to be talking about is wisdom. And basically, wisdom is the uh, main virtue of the rulers. And the reason for that is uh, they have a wide variety of knowledge. They don't have just one specific, narrow idea of how to make something, but they have a little bit of everything. And because of that, uh, they can make good judgments when time calls. Um, you know, you want somebody with a wide variety rather than a narrow to make choices for you so you have a better um, outcome overall. And uh, also that um, it, it leads into why they are the creators of the laws. Uh, you don't want somebody knowing nothing uh, telling you what to do because you're just not going to listen to it and you're going to probably disagree with it in the end. Um, and then this Batman is obviously clearly wise. If you look at him in a political standpoint, He's got, he's like, he's very known in the political world. He enforces the law. He's very like well recognized, and then also economically, he built his own empire. Well, I mean, it's Bruce Wayne, but uh, he he basically built it all on his own. Um, he also is very wise uh, with this technology. He has the uh, bat signal, which allows him to know what's going on in Gotham, and he's also got like bat vision, which just also allows him to know what's going on in Gotham. So he knows everything that's going on, and this kind of just allows him to make good judgments and decisions about what to do given the situation that he faces kind of increases his wisdom. The second uh, virtue that we're going to be talking about is courage. And courage is taken on mainly by the guardians who are the protectors. Uh, they are the ones who are going to um, protect the city and they're going to, you know, they're going to keep order in society. And basically the protectors, the guardians, sorry, um, they are raised to be that way throughout their life. Um, they are, from the minute that they are born, they're kind of raised and trained strictly to know what to do when certain situations arise. Um, they obviously they keep order in society by enforcing the laws that are given to them by the rulers. And um, we have a quote here that uh, I found really fit um, Batman as well. And uh, this was taken from 430B um, in Book Two. And it is this power to preserve through everything. The correct and law inculated belief about what is to be feared and what isn't is what I call courage. Uh, Plato, or to be. And that really, um, it, it touches on both the basis of the Guardians and Batman because, um, for instance, Batman uh, and Gotham, uh, the city all fears um, the criminals. And Batman kind of takes that away. Uh, he kind of pre, um, trying to look for a word, um, he, he um, makes the criminals be the one who are um, he kind of redirects the fear uh, of like where the fear is going from with it's the public to the criminals and kind of kind of draws the criminals fear out in him and that kind of takes their attention away from the, the public as much and makes the criminals focus more on getting back at Batman and I think it takes a lot of courage obviously because he's attempting to make society a better place and he's one man doing it all on his own with the help of law enforcement but obviously the law enforcement isn't that great there which is why he's kind of this uh, he's kind of leading the way in this and trying to make it a better place. But his, his methods aren't always politically correct. He uses a lot of violence and uh, a great amount of fear to intimidate uh, the criminals there. And uh, some of the people that he's protecting even seem as like a vigilante. And they don't, really, they don't really respect him for that. And it takes a lot of courage to kind of stick up against that stigma and kind of protect people that aren't always going to back like what you're doing. And uh, he's trying to keep order and just enforce the law. And I think that takes a great amount of courage because again, he's doing it even with a mask but he's just trying to make it a better place. And uh, just a, another viewpoint, uh, he was raised against his fears. Like, he used to have a great fear of bats, but then he, after a strict amount of training and a great amount of training, he learned to kind of go against that, and he conquered his fear, and he uses that fear, and it drives him, and it kind of makes him who he is. And I think that's, that's just really courageous. The third virtue we're going to be talking about is self-control. And self-control is really taken on by all the classes. Uh, it's not something one class should really have. It is the ability to um, know what you're doing and not to interfere with anybody else's work. And um, basically, Batman kind of goes against that in the in the theory that he uh, is a protector. He also enforces the laws, but he also um, he really just he kind of creates a stigma of like what to do when. Uh, so that's kind of uh, it's a necessary evil, I must say. And um, it's really knowing who should do what and when things should be done. So you don't want to do, um, you should really uh, tend to business when it is necessary to do so. Um, and then uh, Batman, he's got a lot of self-control. Uh, one example that I really pinpointed on was when he fights uh, Ross Azgul, and that was his former mentor. He fights him over um, 
some kind of important details, but long story short, it was, it was a pretty um, emotional fight, but Batman never let his emotions get in the way of that. He played the logic game, and so he didn't, he, like, he could have easily let, uh, like, Ra's al Ghul die in the burning building, or when he even dropped him off the ledge, but he saved him. And that kind of leads to my next point. He doesn't kill anyone. He's not about that. He's got a lot of self-control. He doesn't want, he could easily use a gun to apprehend criminals, but no, he'd rather fight them and make, like, a, just kind of so, submerge them enough so that the uh, authorities can properly discipline those criminals. Because he's not about taking that responsibility on himself. He wants the justice system to take care of that. But he's just about making the city a better, cleaner place in the ways of criminals. Um, he doesn't act on impulse, like I said. He doesn't let his emotions get in the way. But he rather, rather he plays a logic game, and he always has a plan. Um, and he sticks to it. And like I said, he just doesn't let anything in his head, and he keeps the game face on all the time. So what this is all about is justice, the, the last virtue. And uh, Plato says that in order to have um, justice or to be just, you're going to have to have the other three virtues, which are going to be um, courage, uh, wisdom, and self-control. And really, um, going more into that, um, you're not going to want to um, lie or keep secrets. You're going to want to tell the truth and repay all the debts that, are, um, are, that arise. And really, um, Batman it has one huge secret, which is hi his identity. But um, you, he doesn't want to reveal that because it would cause more harm to um, his loved ones and his close ones if he were to do that. So it is. I feel like that is. Uh, it's a necessary thing to do uh, to keep that secret away. And um, also, justice cannot be about his behavior, and that's kind of going along uh, the same lines. Um, just because he is keeping a secret and, and he is lying, it doesn't mean he is an unjust person just because of that one thing. It's like what he does and his skills. Like, just because he uses violence and, and fear and such, it doesn't make him unjust, like we had said. But his goal is he uses those, the fear and the violence, to kind of keep uh, the city a safer place and make it a better place for people to live. And, but, like, again, just relating to just, um, a person would never harm, harm someone else, whether it's mental or physical. And Batman uses a lot of mental fear, or mental, um, harm when he strikes fear into people, and he also does physical harm when he uses violence, which is kind of a segue into our next point. And that is, is Batman just? And um, this can go by either Plato standards or our current standards today. And this is really a discussion portion that we really want you guys to input on and tell us your opinions, whether you think he's just by Plato standards or by yours or just the current overall uh, social norm kind of idea as well. So is there anything you'd like to say? Um. I'd like to first off ask if there's is there like any specific version of Batman? Oh uh, yeah, the the Dark Knight. Okay, Seriously. Christopher Nolan films. Okay. Um, I'll have to think about that one then. Okay. 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 Anybody else? Um, I think by our society's thing is Batman is just just because like all the points you guys say is. Like his overall goal is to make the city a better place, but I think according to play up, like he wouldn't be considered just just because of all the things he's kinda like contradicted towards play up, like he does harm people right, right. for the very good, stuff yeah. like that. And that's yeah, that's what we were thinking as well. You can relate back to the mental portion too, where um, Plato was accused of corrupting the youth. Right? Uh, yeah, but, yeah, and then Socrates. Socrates, Socrates. I'm sorry. Socrates. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, they're, they're wrong. By that problem. Anybody else? Why don't you over there? Um, just just to play devil's advocate, I am going to say that Batman is not just because in trying to enforce justice he subverts the law. Yeah. And he's and he um, actively works against powers that are supposed to be in place to protect us, even if they're not sufficiently doing their job. What I have to say about that is because um, Gotham is it, it's a chaos city, really, and so it really the laws not it is in place, but it's not being enforced. Um, everything is corrupt, so he really takes place of that, even though it is kind of breaking the law in a sense. It's it's really enforcing the law as well, and without him, you it would be it would be much worse off. So I feel like. It, it would kind of be unjust, but it is. I think it is more so just than it is not. Okay. Um, okay. Let's start this way. When 
the thing with that man. When we look at Socrates, Plato, uh, it says you have two options, right, when it comes to changing something. And that op the options are either, okay, you can leave the place, I don't like it here, I'm going to go, or you go try and make the change. Um, and then you said somebody's just, you know, there's no, you know, physically or whatever. I, mean, you can. I, I disagree with the physical part, but you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, you don't harm people. And Batman's doing exactly what you're saying. So why, if Batman was just, it, it would be that he would run for, why, why doesn't he do the public office things? He doesn't, and, or like, why doesn't he just leave? Or why, I mean, he cares about the city to get that, but I mean, why not go through the, the, normal, the, the normal way of doing things? Is he unjust for doing things? I mean, because that's what Socrates is. Right. No, yeah, I, I completely agree with that. And that's what really makes me think. Because I, I don't, myself, I don't have a, a, a sure decision whether he is just or not. In my book, um, I feel like, be, exactly for the reasons you said, um, it, is, it is not necessarily um, reasonable to be doing things the way he is. And um, without doing that, um, though, the city is going to be off in a much worse off place. So I feel like he has a just mindset, but the actions and the way he's doing it doesn't make him just as a person. And I'll play on that a little bit, because I don't know if we're going to get to it in this class, uh, or if we have you know, here, or whatever, but this, this sense of justice and how it relates to morality, there's tons of different types of moralities. It seems like Batman says, as long as I have the right intentions, I can you know, I'm going to, I can justify what I've done. You know, I, you know, all these bad guys, you know, of course. Or um, I was trying to protect someone. Or maybe I really, I helped this kid become a very good fighter. Good and what? Sorry. I helped this kid, Rob. You know, and he had a couple others. I know you guys are using the Dark Knight version, but just for instance. Um, I'm raising this kid with the intentions uh, to, you know, Help him train. I'm trying to help him out. He lost his parents too. I lost my parents. You know, my intentions are for him to you know grow stronger out of this. But I think a couple of times, maybe once for sure that I know, uh, you know, one of the Robins, you know, finds the man that you know killed his parents, and then just you know totally he blows out proportion. The kid gets to the hospital or jail and all that stuff. And that when you know there's a cool conversation between Alfred and that man about okay. What, what really is this? So is Batman just no, but that's why I like okay. no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is there anybody else I'd like to say anything? Alright. So, 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 so,